All right, y'all turn around, shake hands, stand up, walk around a little bit. We'll start here in about three minutes, all right? Shake hands, fellowship, tell our visitors we're glad they're here, and we'll get started in just a minute. We got real quiet. Amen. I think y'all are waiting on me. <laughs> it's good to see everybody here this morning. It's good that we're able to come. Amen. On this Sunday morning, let's not take it for granted and go through the motions this morning. Let's let's really uh, listen with our spiritual ears and hearts this morning and wish to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Let's open up in a word of prayer before we get started. And uh, I tell you what, Brother Scotty Baker, if you would open us up in a word of prayer, brother. And dear gracious and heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this good day, God. Thank you for another opportunity to be in our house. Lord, thank you, God, for salvation, Lord. It's good to be saved, amen. And just uh, thank you, God, for forgiving us. And Lord, for your mercy and grace, God, you show us each and every day. Lord, I pray you bless us with your sweet presence this morning. God, I pray you be in the singing, Lord. And I pray, God, you be in the preaching, God. Give our preacher, Lord, liberty and unction, God, to preach, thus saith the Lord. And God, just draw us closer to you, Father. We sure do need you this morning. I just pray you'd meet with us, help us. Uh, my dear Savior, we pray. God bless thy people, Christ, and draw us closer to you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Grab your brown book there, Spiritual <laughs> Hymns. Turn to page 53. Let's do that, page 53. That heavenly home. I'm going to look it away. Amen. Not looking down here. Sing now. I'm looking away.
verse, all right? This ought to put a smile on your face, right. amen, and right. a song in your heart. It ought to make you want to sing, amen? Here we go on this third one, that heavenly home. That heavenly home has mansions of teenager I used to think man I don't know if I want the Lord to come back I still got a life to live amen but I tell you what the older I get it ain't feeling like home anymore amen it's, I feel like a stranger amen I don't feel like I belong here amen and the uh, the peak of that verse right there it says we'll live with the Lord amen amen now we could back up and go on and rejoice in that no sorrow or pain amen Every bit of that sin that easily besets us every day, amen, it'll all be gone, amen. That puts a smile on my face and joy within my heart that it's all gone, amen. And then it tops it off with, we'll live with the Lord, amen, while the ages roll on. Our mind can't think of eternity, amen. But I'm glad that I'll get to live it with him. Amen. Let's sing the last verse. Amen. Let's think about what we sing in this morning. That heavenly home, it has mansions of life. No storm clouds will rise. No shadows of night. And no sorrow, no
I came to love him and make him our choice, and that will be a glad reunion. seated. I say a word of welcome to you this morning. We're glad you're here. We've got folks visiting, and uh, we're thankful that you're here today, and we're looking for the Lord to speak to our hearts. Good to see our home folks in your place. Pray for, we've got several guys out preaching. Brother Josh Nix is preaching down in Commerce at Freedom Baptist Church with Pastor Danny Green, and then uh, Brother Kobe's presenting the work, the, the jail ministry up in uh, at Revival Baptist Church in, uh, in uh, Blairsville where Brother Thomas C. used to be the pastor. And then Brother Titus is preaching over at Fairfield this morning. And Brother Adam's out preaching this morning. Brother Mark starts tonight up at the Unicoi Baptist Church. Uh, Brother Pastor Darren Palmer will be preaching tonight through Wednesday night. Union Baptist. What did I say? Yeah, Unicoi. Unicoi, yeah. U U Union Baptist Church. Brother Guy used to pastor Union, didn't he, years ago? Is that one? And 7 o'clock each night? Six tonight and seven o'clock, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So you pray that the Lord would would help him as well. I'll be preaching over in uh, Royston this week for Pastor Adam Veal, and uh, and 
and Miss Miss Ruth, that were brother, that's where Brother Allen and Miss Martha Logg's daughter goes to church over there. So I'll get to see. I think she may get them and let them stay with her this week and get to preach with them. So it's a blessing. I love them. But uh, so a lot, a lot of. Oh, maybe that brother Nathaniel's preaching at Duke's Creek this morning for Brother Monk. So let's pray God to help him. And uh, use I praise the Lord for God letting our young men get out and preach and, and not so young men getting out and preach. And uh, amen. I qualify the not so young men. Somebody texted Miss Courtney just when they got done at the meeting at Brother Doug's and they asked if I was older than Brother Doug. That's pretty bad. Brother Doug's 62 and a half. And I'm 12 years behind him. And I guess he's weathered better than I have. Amen. And, uh, but, <laughs> ain't that a blessing? That'll encourage you along the way, won't it? Amen. And, uh, <laughs> at least I got a young wife. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, but I, I appreciate the man getting Brother Doug and I had great fellowship this week and got to preach at Jericho on Wednesday through Friday night. Man, I feel like God helped us these days and I praise the Lord for that. But Doug will be flying back Tuesday and, uh, he and Miss Robin will be making their trek all the way back to, to Wyoming, I believe, starting on Wednesday morning, I believe. So let's pray God give them traveling mercies. Good to see Miss Courtney here this morning, doing well from her surgery, and uh, glad she's doing well. Let me just ask you to pray, Miss Winnie. I got a text from Miss Winnie's daughter about 7:30 this morning, on my way to church, and uh, and Miss Winnie fell yesterday and broke her hip, and uh, I, it's just a lot of complications right there with Brother Bob's help and uh, then her health as well. And I would say Miss Winnie probably have to have surgery. Uh, probably, maybe today, probably tomorrow, and um, and then uh, with Brother Bob's with Brother Bob's health struggles, that we had to pray God to help them meet those needs. And then Miss Winnie may end up having to go to a, an extended rehab stay, possibly. So let's just pray God work in all those situations, on, on all those ends for them that the Lord would help them. Uh, don't forget tonight we're going to have a youth choir practice tonight. Jacob backs a little bit, but with a youth choir practice tonight, so all you kids and college kids, come on by. And uh, we, we, the adult choir's been practicing for Easter, but, man, now we can get these kids back to singing. And uh, I know we, we got a lot of younger ones, but bring them on. They can learn. They can get on there, be honest with the younger ones, know the words better than the big ones do. And uh, so, man, bring the little ones and come on in tonight and uh, and have a good time. That'll be at 4.30. 4.30. And uh, then tonight at 5.15. Tonight, this afternoon at 5.15, so you moms and dads will probably already be here, but they'll have a Bible school meeting at, oh, at this afternoon at 5.15, so all that could help us and volunteer, and you say, well, I don't know if I can be here every night, but hey, there's deck rooms to be decorated, there's something to be done, uh, so all, all you adults come on back this afternoon at 5.15, and, uh, and the Bible school start a little early this year like we did last year on Sunday night, May the 19th, so don't forget that. Uh, this afternoon, 515 over in the Fellowship Hall, and we'll have our Bible school meeting, so you'll be here for that. Also, if you're going to the team formal, that'll be this, the Saturday before Mother's Day. Today, we got to know today. I've got to finalize some dinner reservations and numbers, so if you're going, you need to text Miss Amy today. Don't text me. Don't give me a note, because I'll ask Miss Cheryl, I can lose anything right after I preach. And uh, these pockets are, are dark black holes. They just never, it don't come out for six months. But text Miss Amy. She'll get you put down. We're going to have a good time. We're going to go have some Japanese together. Then we'll be doing talk golf. Have a good time. Have a little reception before we go. For our visitors, we do a little alternative to having a prom. And uh, so we have a nice, nice meal. They'll dress up. And then we go have an activity. And uh, we'll have a reception for all of our seniors and others that would like to come and see all the kids dressed up. So make sure you're going to take part in that. That will be the second, second Saturday in May. And, uh, but let Miss Amy know today. Also, young, I think a lot of the couples probably signed up this morning. But if you weren't in Brother Scott's class, there's a sign-up sheet on the outside. Is that right, Brother Randall? Have we got it outside, the one you started? Uh, Brother Scott, it's on the bulletin, is it on the bulletin board or on the table? It's on the bulletin board for Friday night, our first Marriage Matters. Dr. Scott Call will be here. And uh, at 6.30, we're going to have supper. And uh, supper will be provided. And then after we get done eating supper, whether that's 7.15 or whatever, uh, we'll take our time. We're not going to be in a hurry. Uh, but uh, Brother Call will be talking to us about just probably 45 minutes or so, 45 minutes to an hour, just sort of talking to us, preaching to us about our home. 
That's not just for young couples. If you're married and you said, I do, and you wear a golden band or you wear a rubber band or you don't wear one at all, uh, that's for you and us. And come, we're going to have a good time. We'll have, we'll have uh, young folks to watch the babies, and then we'll have another group going to watch the older kids uh, to have some activities there. So make plans to be here in just a couple of hours, probably two-hour investment. And, man, I, I, I don't know that, I, that there's not a marriage in here that couldn't take a little two-hour investment uh, in to make us better for the glory of God. So that'll be this Friday night, and you don't have to bring anything but yourself. And, um, and I mean, there's grandparents that love keeping grandbabies. Amen. You don't have to bring them. You can, you can ship them to the grandparents. Amen. They may be high on Mountain View when you get them back, but, uh, but uh, you can, they'll have a good time. Amen. And... Um, but that, I'm looking forward to that. I appreciate the, the plan that's going into that. Brother Caudill is God's man, and uh, he'll, he'll have something to say to us from the Word of God. So don't forget that on Friday night, and I believe that. So Brother Epps will be here next. How many, how many of you have never heard Brother David Epps preach? Most of our folks have, maybe some visitors. Brother David Epps is a preaching machine. Been in the jail ministry for over 30 years, but uh, my goodness, he can preach God's man. He'll be here with us next Sunday morning and Sunday night. So you make plans to be here. We'll have a good time together, all right? Okay, Brother Mike. Yeah, that's just, I apologize, Brother Mike. If you're going next Saturday, the fellows are leaving to go out west to Brother Earhart's to help him missionary, Brother Earhart. And uh, let me. And while I'm thinking about it, we need to pray Brother Russ Pruitt, Russ Pruitt's grandson. We were, when I was out there, Brother Pruitt that has been coming out there with y'all fellows. His grandson, nine years old, had a sinus infection. We found out about this week. This week, at Brother Doug's nine-year-old young man had a sinus infection. The inf infection settled behind his eye, and they were thinking they were going to have to do surgery to go in behind his eye and clean that out because it was starting to affect his eye. And I haven't heard, but Miss Robin, did you hear? It's, it's not in his eye. So it's continue to watch him. So pray for that young man. Amen. Uh, but I, if you've got your luggage, see Brother Pat right after the service. If you didn't bring it today and you're going to bring it Tuesday night to prayer meeting, he'll be here as well. So you men that are going, let's pray for these men going out there to work. We work with saws and th things of that nature. Pray God will give them safety of travel and a, and a profitable week. And, uh, and I, I praise God the ministry, it, it, a lot of times the ministry has a lot of different looks. But what they'll do in a week, in three or four days right there, cutting that, cutting that older preacher, older missionaries would. Will help him. That will fuel his house, and I guess the church does the church too, or just just his home, heat his house for a year. But he's got he's got older and can't do that. And I appreciate our men sacrificing to go do that. And I say to I tell you what, listen, that that's being kind, burying one another burden, being kind to one another, esteeming you, esteeming your brother before yourself. That kind of stuff's got rewards at the judgment seat. And I praise God for it. And I appreciate our men going. So let's pray for them. All right. All right, well, let's stand at our feet. You sing in the adult choir. You come on, and uh, for our folks, you bring your tithes and offers to the front. All right.
Frick says, my old life of sin was getting me down. As a little girl, probably between the time I was 7 and 11, I knew I was lost. And I had done a whole lot of sinning at that point. But I, I was a sinner. And I knew I needed to be saved. And every night I would lay in my bed and ask God to save me. And in my whole life of sin... It might not look really bad to this world, but it was getting me down. And I knew I had to have a Savior. And I knew that it was nothing but his blood that could save me. And it couldn't be just me saying, God, save me. Like, I was asking him to convict me and draw me. And so whenever that time came and he let me know I was lost, that's when I could come. And and all of that burden was gone. And it's it's been peace and joy. And I'm just so thankful. Amen. He heard my prayers. Yeah. Amen. 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 Good. Told Brother David, Brother Jackson came to the altar. I love the way Brother Jackson comes to the altar. It seems like the further he comes, the more he weeps. And the closer he gets, the lower he gets. And I told, I, I said, man, I, that's how he's came to the altar since he got saved. I remember all them years ago when he got saved, but he came in, him and Cynthia came in, and old brother, brother Jackson come in. And I, I'll never forget, Brother Jackson, you had earrings from here. All the way around your ear. Long, both long, dark, curly hair. Man, God saved him. I mean, I'm talking about saved him by the grace of God. It made, and, and the next week, all them earrings were gone. And he had taken all them out and put a cross earring in his lobe, in his earlobe. Somebody said, what are you going to do? I said, it'll be all right. It's going to take care of itself. And I'll never forget, I, 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 Brother Jensen, in the last 30 years of services, I, I remember a Sunday night service like it was like it was yesterday. Buddy, y'all got saved and got in here and and uh man, old brother Jansen wanted to get baptized and and buddy still had his hair still long and, and he'd come in and we were singing that night and if I'm not mistaken, we were singing number eight, I love the Lord, down deep in my heart. And man, he walked in that back on a Sunday night with a black pair of slacks on, a short sleeve white shirt and a little black tie with a haircut that he's got right now. I'll never forget it, man. Big old tears running down his face. He told me that night, he said, Preacher, I've been wanting to get baptized for a month. He said, I've been wanting to get I may become a member of the church. He said, but I knew I need to get my hair cut. And he said, I, I've been trying, he said, for a month to make an appointment down in Atlanta. And he said, I finally got one today. He said, I wanted to give my hair to them children that they make legs for when they got cancer. He said, but I've been wanting to do that. He said, God's been working in my heart. And man, and boy, got birth into the family. And ever since them and since they come, they just squall on the way down here. Most of the time, they come together. And I mean, that just makes me rejoice. Praise God that salvation is still free and salvation is still real and after these years that was 16, 17 years ago probably and uh, man after that the, the tears are still flowing, the cheeks are still wet his heart's still full I'm glad it don't have to get old I'm glad it doesn't have to dry up I'm glad we can enjoy our salvation for many years to come and I bless the Lord I mean, I, 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 if I could give a class on how to come to the altar I'd let Brother Jackson teach it, I mean man he just weeps all the way down here and it's almost like his heart's just overflowing with thanksgiving and joy and sometimes it's a burden but I'm glad we can bring it to the same place and we can bring the burden because years ago I brought that burden of sin and he took it away and I bless the Lord for that. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Amen.
song that we just sang about. Yes. Amen. Yes. When I was lost and you saved me when I was 17 years old. Oh, boy. Yeah. And no matter how the hills or valleys or whatever it is, boy, it's, uh, he always wants to find me. Yeah. Amen. He always God. wants to take care of me. That's right. And I just can't think of enough things Amen. more than anything yeah, they could ever tell me. Amen. He brought me where I needed to be. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I need to grow. Oh, no, no, no. Hey. And he's taking care of you every single step of the way. That's right. That's right. Let's thank him for it. Yes. Yes. about three days and the primitive quartet song saying talks about over yonder you know and boy ain't you got glad you got a place to go yeah yeah man that's and right you ain't gotta worry about nothing no more that's you know, right that's right yet. that's it and i told mark i'd go over there and check the house and, and i was saying it right there and everybody about a half a mile around got them heard it last night boy, boy, <laughs> boy i enjoyed it i'm thankful i like it when it's like that yeah like yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, man. I probably don't want to hear you sing it up here. That's right. When it's surreal, you'll sing it out there at the chicken house or in the car by yourself. When it gets cool in your heart, when you got a song in your heart like that, I, I like to hear it when it's up here, too. Hey, man. Hey, man. I like it when it just spills over. I ain't got to prime it up. It's just running over, praise God. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Bless the Lord. Yes, sir. Praise God. Bless his name. Hey. Yes. That song we were just singing where it says, under conviction we're to extend every mile we wait. Yeah. <laughs> I tried for months to change how I acted or tried to fool people. Yeah. It got pretty real. Yeah. The yeah, Friday night before you preached. <laughs> and I could I not believe. wait to get out of that hey. church. But Sunday morning I walked in and I said, I'm just tired of it. Yeah. yeah. Amen. 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 And I just want to thank him for saving me. Yeah. Being my yes. Salvation's of the Lord. Whatsoever the Lord doeth, He doeth it forever. Sounds That's like right. if you don't want to go to heaven, you better not get saved. <laughs> Amen. 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 And the ones that got it but don't realize they got it. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. You don't think a God that can hold a son in his place. Tell the, tell the oceans where to That's stop right. going. Right. You don't think he can take care of us and get us to heaven? You better believe me. Sure. Amen. 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 God be Amen. the Lord. <clears throat> Say a word for the Lord, Canaan. I just want to thank the Lord for saying Go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was sitting, we were, we were 
Bethany Baptist Church for that, and uh, Tuesday night they got to sing something, and I what it stirred came. I got man, I got to rejoice, and I sat down. And I thought one of these days I'm gonna thank you like I really want that's to. Right, yeah, that's right, man. I was tired a little bit, and my voice was shot, and I thought there's coming a day I'm gonna thank you like I want sure. to. I'm gonna praise you like I want to. I my flesh isn't gonna get in that day, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be for while the age is wrong. That's right.
That's right. That's right. That's what they do. They just share their bread this morning. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yes, sir. You say sometimes I'm like that. I open my Bible and don't feel like it's talking to me. Just keep reading. Oh, yes. Amen. There's been some showers that I took that I didn't really feel like helping like gloves, but I just kept taking them. Praise God. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. I can't remember every meal I ate, but I, it helped me when I ate. Amen. That's right. Yes, sir. You just stay there long enough. You'll cut the oven up. Amen. 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 One of those promises walk off about three miles deep in your heart. That's right. right. Boy, it gets to warm in your soul with the promises oh, of the yeah. Word of God. Man, in this unrest that we have today, I told those days one church. I said, man, we could be in a war. We could be in a world of war before the, before the sun goes down. That's, That's right. right. That's right. I'm talking about before the sun goes down. That's right. You say, well, are we burned? No. I'm going to get past the president. I'm going to get past the Senate. Yep. That's right. That's right. I'm looking for that land that Brother Dawson was told about. Yes, go. Amen. Amen. There's a need up there. Yeah. And she's at the right hand. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 And it's in control. Let me turn the key, the heart of the key, whithersoever he will. That's right. And I think the reason you and I can have peace and have a vibration because it's going to happen just like that vibration. Yeah. World's on fire, that book that you and I get peace from and stability from and shelter from, when it's on fire, it's still going to be right. saved. Yeah, it's, 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 it's on fire. And hell of us, everybody worried about global warming. You better believe it's going to be warm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the elements are going to melt in the firm of heat. Yeah. And when the mountains are carried into the sea and the stars, are falling, the sky is darkened out by the smoke of the pit. You know what's going to still stand? That's my heart. We own this feast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boy, you may be here like, boy, I got that. That was a blessing about them walking over right now. Amen. You may be here, and you may have spent your life walking over the man. Sure. Trying to get yes. to the place. Amen. Walking yes. over the man. Yes. Trying to get to the That's place. Right. Amen. Amen. Boy, he just keeps dropping the lamp. He said, right like, here it is. You ain't got no over there. You ain't got no over there. You know, change your life. Boy, hey, my man. soul. Can I get an amen? Hey, yeah. Let it change your life. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 Show the way up, Teddy, for the Rocky. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Change your life by the grace of God. Amen. Yeah. Bless the Lord. Amen. I thank you for it. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Go ahead, sweetheart. Not just you, God. That's right. It's my past, God. It's my past. Yes, that's right. And I was reading my Bible this morning. I was reading Lamentations and all of Jeremiah talking about all the oppression he faced and all the trials he went through. And there's this cluster of verses in chapter 3 where it talks about how it's the Lord's mercy that we're not consumed. Yes. And great is his faithfulness. Yes. And all these things. And I just, God showed me that in the midst of all the oppression, in the midst of all the darkness, in the lowest points of your life, that you can learn of God's faithfulness and his mercy more than ever. And I just want to thank him that hey, he, he shows me things just like he shows no Ain't that a blessing? <laughs> Boy, that's a dream. What good would it be if it was just for the old one? What about when he steps off into the life of these kids hey, and shows them stuff? I mean, that very book's called Lamentation. <laughs> that's yeah. all he's doing. He's lamenting that. The lamenting today. That's right. right there in the middle of that little bit, he gets to look into the Lord. Yes, sir. And rest in the Lord. Bless his name. Go ahead. I'd like to thank the Lord for saying Go ahead, Miss That's how that faithfulness calls me. And this morning, God, to remember him that God gave him so much more than what he asked for. That's the same. I knew that he was when I asked him to save me, that he was going to save me from hell. And that he was paying the debt that I couldn't pay, but I had no idea that I was going to get all, all the rest of it sure. to go along with it. He was going to be my heavenly father, and yeah. he was going to go and hold my hand, yeah. and that he was going to be there with me in the quiet time. Yes. And I couldn't see him. He was still there. And yes. I'm just so thankful that he's so much more than what yeah. He didn't he's stop so his salvation. More. He just keeps going. I'm thankful for everything he's done for me. Yeah. 
Bless the Lord. Amen. 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 Boy, everyone knows good Savior. Yes, sir. We got in on the small end of something great. And there's still more to come. Amen. What a blessing. I'm glad that God, Brother Earl, seen me. God with the thunder, thunder racks and the lightning flashes and the thunder rolls. And I have seen in the displays of the heavens. But the fact that he'll walk with me and fellowship with me, hold my hand like she's talking about. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. He's so much God to him. Yeah, that's right. Amen. 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 But he's so much God that he lives within us. Sure. Amen. What a blessing. The last of those Levitical offerings was the thank offering. After the sin offering, I mean Leviticus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, all those offerings in there. But Howard, the very last one, after all those, all those other offerings, which was a picture of the work of Christ for us, there was one offering left, and it was the thank offering. Come help me, Brother Jacob. All those other offerings had to be without spot, and without blemish. They had to be perfect. Come down here. They had to be perfect. Because that was Christ's work for us. That's what he was doing for us. That's a picture of him dying for us. But when it came time for that thank offering. I've studied those offerings. That was the only offering. That the nation of Israel could bring. What they had. It might have not been. It might not have been burnt offering quality yes, and, and, and sin offering quality. But you, when you got ready to come say thank you, you could bring what you had. Because we're not, we're not coming, any of us, we're not coming because we're worthy. Amen. We, we're not coming because we're anything, but we're coming because he is. Amen. And there are times that... Man, when you really get in the presence of God, I, 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 I worry about people when they get in the presence. They say, well, I'm in the presence of God, and they're all big and brass and proud and act like they deserve something. The closer I get to the Lord, I want to crawl under a shadow somewhere uh, because I realize how holy he is and how I come short and how I don't measure up. And Man, I want to crawl in the altar and say, oh, God, have mercy on me. That's exactly what happened to Isaiah. He got in that presence of God, and he said, whoa, it's me. Me, uh, for I'm a man of unclean lips. Amen. That's what he said. But they could bring that offering if I wanted to come say thank you. If I wanted to come say thank you, I could come say thank you for something that he'd already done. There was times the nation of Israel would come say thank you for something they wanted to come. They wanted to come and, and make a prayer request. They needed God to do something. But the way they would do it, they would offer the thank offering in advance of God's answer. But either way they did it, old brother Jacob would be the high priest. And I'd, I'd bring my bullock in there, and he would cut the left breast and shoulder out of that, out of that offering, whatever it was. And then he would take it up off the altar. And then the offerer and the priest would wave it together to the Lord. It became a wave offering. They worshiped together. Oh, it wasn't because the offer was worthy, 
but the one they came to. And that's how we all feel. That's how we all should feel when we say thank you. I don't deserve his blessings. I don't deserve his goodness. I didn't deserve his, I tell you what I deserved. I deserved hell. I deserved to be crucified. I deserved to be beaten with the cat of the nine tails. I deserved to be tried for my sin. But we, we esteem him stricken. He carried our sorrows and bore our sins. It wouldn't he listen. Thank God he was the holy one. And I tell you what, I look at that, I realize just how short I come up, but buddy, it wants me to say, Lord, I thank you that you did what I couldn't do. I thank you you gave what I couldn't give. I thank you you went where I couldn't go. I thank you you are what I want to be. You've been good to me, amen. I should be in hell. I should be burning on the condemnation of my sin, but according to Ephesians, I'm seated together in heavenly places not because of me but because of him he's broken down the middle wall a partition between us and he's reconciled he's reconciled he's reconciled and redeemed us to God amen if you're waiting till you got it all your eyes dotted and T's crossed to thank God, you'll never do it here. <laughs> That's right, Brother Marshall. He said he's got all his he's got all his eyes dotted and T's crossed. Glory to God. Amen. Brother Howard, been saved 51 years. Been studying that Bible for all them years. You ever felt worthy? <laughs> Never. Never. Uh, I mean, praise God. How about it? Miss Ruth, you've been saved a long time. I testified about you this week in, in Wyoming. You ever felt worthy? No. How about, how about it? Miss Alicia saved 50 years. You ever felt worthy? Did you feel worthy of that little single mama? With them babies, when your little neighbor come over there and told you about, you thought like, man, he ought to save me. You, you ever feel like that? How about it, Brother Mike saved all these years? You ever felt like, man, I just really deserve God to save me? How about it, Miss Cheryl, when they were singing, oh, come angel band, when they got saved, did you feel like you were that day? No, no. But praise God, he said, thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor. Help me quote that, Brother Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive Thou glory, honor, power, for thou hast created all things. Amen. Revelation, I'm telling you, praise God. Amen. Listen, Biden's not worthy. America's not worthy. I mean, our senators are not worthy. But there's a God in heaven that the angels are flying up and down. And they're saying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. And I tell you, we'll be singing it while the ages roll. Thou art worthy. Thou, I mean, every kindred. I'm talking about a group of folks you can't put a number on. Uh, we're going to be singing uh, a glory and honor uh, to the Lamb of God. Amen. If we got a, if we got what was due us, that's what you call a wage. Amen. That's a wage. But when you get something you didn't deserve, that's called grace. And when you don't get something you do deserve, that's called mercy. This world can keep their wage. I'll take grace. Amen. I'll take love and kindness. Amen. Because that grace, a way, I'd say grace is a lot bigger than a wage. Amen. Miss Bree, she said, she said really what all of us feel. We don't feel worthy. And sometimes in the lamenting, you don't even feel like it. Amen? I don't care. I don't care how long you've been saved. 
We all have times when we get low. If Paul can get like that, the greatest preacher says, Jesus, you better believe you and I can get like that. If Jeremiah can get like that, if Elijah can get like that, you and I can get like that. <laughs> but how I feel has nothing to do with his worthiness, his righteousness, his goodness, his character, his integrity, his faithfulness is there. So I'm just going to keep bringing what I have and hope as I go along it gets better. <laughs> Amen. I'm not saying go out there and just live any way. That ain't what I'm saying. But I'm saying when you do right and you still realize we don't measure up, he says, just bring me what you got. <laughs> Amen. I tell you sort of how I am. The kids go out to eat with us. And, and uh, last night we got, I got in from Wyoming and, and, and Carter's still working. He's adulting now. And uh, we went to eat and right in Lena went, well, y'all all right. We're going to sing just a minute. Y'all good. We, we, y'all okay? Amen. 24, almost 24 years old, got his own job, Miss Elena's working, and we got up from the table when I bought supper, he said, uh, thank you for supper, Daddy. You know what happens when my own earthly children tell me thank you? Brother John, that makes me want to do more when I feel like they are appreciative. Amen. They both said at times, well, Daddy, I didn't ask for that. I thought, well, I didn't know I had to have your permission to, to do what I want to do and spend my money. Can I get a witness? Amen. And how many times if we really had to look at it, we'd have to look at the Lord and say, I didn't even ask for that. Sometimes we didn't got enough faith to ask for it or courage to ask for it. But I believe when we say thank you, Brother Howard, and we make much of we make much of His goodness and much of His grace. He says, "Man, I think I'm gonna keep helping them people because they appreciate it." Amen. God help us, brother Jacob. Won't you go over there? Yeah, brother. I bet you're gonna sing the one I was gonna ask you to sing. I ain't. Well, which one are you gonna sing? Yeah, that's right. Amen. You might just want. to. Some of us ought to just be as honest as she was and say, oh, I just, man, I just don't feel like I were to do that. <laughs> he is. He's worthy for us to do that. He's worthy for us to do that. And sometimes he's, he can take our honesty and say, Lord, you know, man, I really botched it up the other day. I botched it up the other day. I, I failed that test. But Lord, I want to thank you you didn't turn your back on me when I failed. And I want to thank you there was forgiveness. And Lord, I want to thank you I had those thoughts and I had that attitude. And Lord, I just want to thank you you're still good in spite of me. Not because of me, but in spite of me. Amen. We, hallelujah. Oh, if I was waiting till I got worthy, I'd never worship him till I got around the throne. In a glorified body, in a sinless atmosphere. In a sinless body. Amen. With a sinless nature. But I'm glad he lets us get ready for that land. By worship in this land. Amen. We're going to stand. They're going to sing. You might want to bring all your unworthiness to the worthy one. And say, Lord, thank you for being faithful when I'm unfaithful. Let's stand together. They're going to see. You mind the Lord. Stay in choir. You come pray to. Find your place and tell the Lord how good he's been to you. Find your place and tell him he sure has been good. Amen. 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 Lord, I come today to thank you, but not for things I've never mentioned here before. Not for blessings you have given, nor the joy you promised are in store. So as I bow before you, give me the words 
to express my deepest thanks not for what you've given but lord for what you took away you took my guilt and shame and all my sinful blame became as yours you open wide your hand as a guilty man you wore my crown of thorns you took the debt i earned and all that i deserved on calvary lord thanks for what you've given but most of all thanks for what you took from me Father, please forgive me for all the times I failed to mention this before. I've been so concerned with treasures. I've went so far that I've even asked for more. But you've shown me, Lord, what's precious. It's not the things that you've given me today. For they're worth to me as nothing when compared to what you took away. You took my guilt and shame, and all my sinful blame became as yours. You opened wide your hand as a guilty man. You wore my crown of thorns. Did I earn and all that I deserved on Calvary? Lord, thanks for what you've given, but most of all, thanks for what you took from me. You took my guilt and shame, and all my sinful blame became as yours you open wide your hand as a guilty man you wore my crown of thorns you took the debt i earned and all that i deserved on calvary Lord, thanks for what you've given, but most of all, thanks for what you took from me. Today, just on what he took away. That's right. Just what he took out of our life. That's right. What he kept us from. Goodness gracious. Sin, sorrow, guilt, condemnation, separation. Took darkness away and put light. (laughs) Took shame and put peace. Took guilt and put innocence. (laughs) Hallelujah. I wonder if that's what John was doing. When he walked up on that dusty road and said, Behold the Lamb of God. That might have been the first one. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Yeah. That taketh away, not washes it till next year, not covers it till next year. Sure. But the whole of Lamb of God takes that it away. taketh away the sin of the world. And you know who's went with the world? Mine, yours. Amen. To God be the glory. <laughs> Bless the Lord. I say with the psalmist, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. I bless his name. Preacher, I got one thing I want to say. Go ahead. Get on my heart. We ain't praising his name this morning just because this is something we do. Come on. Come on. We're not just... 
we've got so caught up into in the church that this is just what we do. This is how we. No, it's not because of that. Amen. If you think about it, I'm looking across and some of you can't. Why do you rejoice? Why do you smile when you get a present at Christmas? Amen. Because you got something. Amen. Why when you have your birthday and you get a gift? You smile because somebody thought about you. And they give you something. Amen. And the reason why we shed a tear this morning and the reason why we have joy in our heart and the reason why we praise Him this morning, amen, the reason why there's several here this morning that stood up and they just couldn't help it. Something was inside of them and they just had to get it out. This, something's bubbling up. It's because somebody, amen, uh, cared enough about them, amen. And I want to say this, that He cares enough about you this morning. Amen. And He's trying to give you something this morning. Amen. He wants you to take part. Amen. All you've got to do is accept. Amen. It's there. It's all there. Amen. It's wrapped up. He's trying to give it to you this morning. And you've had to watch everybody enjoy their gift. You've watched them get up and bubble over it. But you can't do it this morning because one reason you ain't got it. Amen. I'm not trying to blow this thing out, but I understand this morning you can have it. You can have it too. You can have have the joy. You can have the peace. You can have those things that rob you of your joy, taken away and then instilled in you the hope of glory, the joy, the peace. You can have it. What if God was to what if God was to step out right now and he's to come back right now? Where would you be? What if the rapture of the church took place? We all got out of here, would you still be left here? Or would you be called up together in the class? This ain't something that we just do. It's not just a religion. It's real. It's real and it's alive, amen. It's not something that I get up every morning, Sunday morning and put on a suit and tie just just because it's something that I was raised. No, no, oh no, friend. Yes, I was raised in it, amen. But it was a good day when it became between me and the Lord, amen. And you too can have it this morning, amen. Amen. Think about it. Where would you be? I'm going to get him to sing that verse. I'll quote it to you this way. To as many as received him, gave he the power to become the sons of God. He can be yours. He can be yours this morning. Amen. We just we just came through Easter season, resurrection. The week before that would have been Calvary. Just a few months ago, Christmas. You know what that is? That's the gospel. His birth, His death, and His resurrection. And you know who He did it for? He did it for you. You say, well, man, am I going to act like y'all? Maybe not right at first. But give it a little time. You probably will. Because you'll get happy like Brother Jacob said. You'll want to tell somebody what He did for you. Why why would you not want to trade your guilt? Why would you not want to trade your shame? I mean, we're, let me just tell you something. The days we're living in are not going to get more certain. They're going to get weaker. That's right. I mean, it's going to be more uncertain, more turbulent, more turbulent. There's going to be more of what we're reading right now on Fox News. The closer we get to it, it's going to get worse and worse. And man, I'd hate the pillow of my bed, my head on my bed, if I didn't have the peace to know that if the morning doesn't come, I'll be with Jesus. you will take your, he's already took your sins away. He did that at Calvary. You just got to put your faith in him that he did it. Sin debt's been paid. But it needs to become personal like Brother Jacob said. You need to come. But if you're not saved this morning, you say, preacher, I'm a visitor. I, it'd be all right. Somebody will come with you. We'll take a Bible. If you're a lady, one of our ladies, take a Bible and pray with you. Sure. One of these men will pray with sure. you. He, he, like Brother Jacob said, this ain't just what we do. This is real life. 
This is rubber meets the road. Jesus changed our life. And I bless the Lord. They're going to sing another verse. And I would invite you to come this morning. It, it, it's a great atmosphere. It's a great atmosphere to trust Him this morning. You, he going to sing. Would you come? Father, you please can, You can tell that person that you came with. For all the they come times with you. Maybe it's some of our children. I, I don't know. Before. Young people. I've been so concerned with treasures. I went so far that I've even asked for more. Take my yoke apart. But you've shown me, Lord, what's precious. It's not the things that you've given me today. For they're worth to me as nothing when compared to what you took away. Praise the Lord. Amen. You took my guilt and shame and all my sinful blame. Get in this morning, the door's still open. As yours, he said, I set before you, you an open, open door which no man can shut. As a guilty it. man, Hallelujah. you wore my crown of thorns. You took the debt I earned and all that I deserved. Thanks for what you've given, but most of all, thanks for what you took for me. Did you hear that line? It says, take the debt I earned. <laughs> yeah, we've all earned it. It's like Miss Natalie said, just a little girl. She said, I hadn't done a whole lot of sinning, but seven, maybe some lies, a little rebellion. But she ain't got out there in the deep sins of the world. But she still had a sin debt. Had to be paid. And he'll do it. If you're here this morning, you're not saved, you don't have to leave. We'll sit down with you after service, sit down on a pew, take a Bible, show you, pray with you. You can come back this afternoon. Miss Amy and I'll sit down here, pray with you, take the Bible, show you what the Bible says about salvation. It's free. Won't cost you anything, but it cost him everything. And he did it for you. All God's people said, Amen. Amen. I appreciate the presence of the Lord this morning. Appreciate his goodness to us coming by. Don't forget this afternoon, 4.30, youth choir, 5.15, Bible school practice. Visitors, thank you all for being here. Thank you for coming. We sure appreciate you being here. Shake hands with your neighbor. You're at liberty. May God bless you. Amen.